so what are you doing? It is at 8.20. Yeah, 8.20. And, uh, thought you'd like to come out with me for a little rip. I went out yesterday in the morning. I didn't do a, a video, but, uh, went out in the morning and it, and it was nice. You know, um, it was kind of cloudy, but it was nice. I had a real nice ride. And then it just poured buckets and buckets and buckets after I came back in. Just all day long, just poured. So I was kind of stuck inside. I did some stuff on the quad. I uh, finished up the top, the top deck of the uh, the anodized red for the whatever you want to call it, the battery box in the back. Now I just have to do the bottom and reorient the battery. So we'll see when when that is that I get it done. I like this, uh, I, I, I like playing with this aluminum, this aluminum diamond plate, this little sheeted aluminum diamond plate, because I can use all my air tools on it and really get familiar, because I've never used air tools before, so, well, before my e-bike. Um, and I'm just getting more and more familiar with them, I, and I really like it. I switch between one and to another and see which one works best for whatever hole or slot or square or whatever I'm making in this thing. And it's cool learning learning about it, you know? I got the the top of this thing back there working perfectly. I mean looking beautifully looking beautiful. And then I also uh, did what I originally wanted to with it where I put, you know, I always, I had two, I had two side, little side panels, if you guys remember, and uh, the, before, and uh, I wanted to cover the whole thing, that's why I put the diamond, one of the reasons I put the diamond plate down there, so I could cover the whole top of the box. It's hidden by the ammo box that's sitting on top of it, a lot of it is, but I still wanted to cover the whole thing, and then I wanted to, uh, secure the ammo box to the top through that little you know what I've done now is, is through the little the diamond plate I've secured it that way And hopefully, that proves to be extremely solid. It seems like it will be. It really seems like it will be. I'm trying to s listen. I'm a little distracted because I'm trying to listen to see what this knocking is. I hear it on the right. Here's some standing water.
everything's just very wet out because of how much it rained yesterday. It just absolutely dumped buckets. So I'll be riding through lots of water. But I plan on um, cleaning up and maintaining my quad when I get home. Because I think it might rain again today too. So I might be stuck in there anyway, so I may as well make the best of it like I did yesterday. I did all kinds of little fine-tuning on that thing with my air tools. It was kind of fun fiddling with it. Good morning. Have a great day. A bit more water. I've been trying to rethink my uh, work to put my water bottles. And I just, I don't have a spot really that, that is perfect for him. I think I have the, the perfect spot on Steven Strike for his, but I don't know about mine. I just don't know. Coming up on your left, bud. Mine, I just don't know. I've tried lots of different spots, but none of them that, that seem like they won't break off or the bottle, you know, fly out of it. I can tighten these these bottle uh, water bottle holders down so they're really stuck in there good but I don't know. I'd rather have something that, that I could 
just reach down or reach up or reach over or whatever and, and grab and pull out with, you know, a little, little bit of resistance, but I, I don't think I would like having to click, 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 you know, loosen it, take it out, drink, put it back in and click, 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 put it back. I'd rather just bypass the click, click, clicking. But we'll see. We'll see what I come up with. I guess I should be thankful that I have a water bottle holder that you can actually tighten. Coming up on your right, bud. Have a great morning. Good morning. Thanks, man. Take care. <laughs> Looks like another bike rider, non e bike. Good morning. Very bouncy at this lower speed. <laughs> Coming up on your right, bud. Good morning. Extremely muggy out today. I don't know if I've said that. <laughs> really, really, really muggy out today. But I've said it before if you're moving fast enough, you don't have to worry about the mugginess as much. Oh, I know what that is. <laughs> I know what that knocking is. It's the, because uh, I changed the um, position of the speakers that are on either side of my head. Because uh, they were on a, well, one of them still is. I'm testing it now. <laughs> the higher one and the lower one. 
which one is better. But anyway, um, I changed the one on the left to a higher position on a bar that I had uh, up above it and change kind of changed the orientation so it was in such a way that it would go um, kind of directly into my ears and I thought it was that way before but I've uh, since learned that it's kind of dir um, directed towards the back of my neck so I have to have it perfect <laughs> I mean come on so I moved it up to the next uh, bar that I have across there, tube that I have across, and, and uh, adjusted it so that it goes, well, I was hoping that it would go directly in my ear, and it, it looks like it's, it's pretty close. I might have a couple little adjustments to make uh, when they're both up and, and going, but I'll see. see. See how it works. <laughs> Always adjusting something.